Good afternoon, everyone. My name is meteorologist Heather Kay, and this is your forecast for Thursday, November 9th, 2012. Now, today is going to be an absolutely beautiful day with temperatures warming up into the lower 50s with plenty of sunshine, but some changes are coming our way. But before I get to those changes, I do want to look at our weather for Veterans Day. It's coming up on Sunday, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day out there. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-60s with plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a little bit windy out there with winds out of the south at 15 to 28 miles per hour. Now looking at our weather headlines today, you can see it's going to be a very nice day today with plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the lower 50s. But here comes that change I was just telling you about. Rain will be moving through our region as we get into tonight and moving into tomorrow. Lower 40s will be starting out tomorrow morning and will be ending up into the lower 60s. And our next chance for precipitation will not occur until Monday and Tuesday. But looking at what's going on out there right now, very nice, 53 degrees with plenty of sunshine. The humidity is sitting at 59%. The dew point is sitting at 37. We have some very light winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour, and the pressure is really high at 30.16 inches. So looking at our temperatures across the region, you can see most of us are in the lower 50s. The warm spot here is in Howell, sitting at 55. A little bit cooler to our north, you can see 46 is the reading right now in Fort Huron. And looking at the statewide temperatures, warmer to our south here, Grand Rapids 55. Jackson is sitting at 55 as well. Those cooler temperatures are sitting to our north here in Traverse City as well as Alpena. Salt St. Marie is sitting at 45 degrees. Now looking at our radar and satellite, you can see there's really not a whole lot going on. At this time, there are just a few little showers starting to pop up in Jackson, but other than that, it's relatively dry. But I am expecting some of that precipitation to be moving its way on eastward. It will be developing later on tonight, and they will be making their way into the Detroit metro area as we get into it later on tonight. Now, looking at what's going on nationwide, you can see here is this very strong storm system he is producing some wintry weather here in the western part of the country here in Montana and here is a cold front that's not really going to be affecting us much but this warm front will be and it's going to be making its way across the region will be bringing some warmer air from the south and as we go forward into time here you can see it's going to continue to move north bring in that warmer weather but it will also bring us some shower conditions as we get into tonight and into tomorrow morning. Now as we go forward into uh, the next 48 hours as we get into tomorrow evening, you can see here is this cold front. Eventually it's going to be making its way eastward and will not only bring us another chance for precipitation, but will also be dropping our temperatures about 20 degrees. So enjoy this warmth while you can because it's not going to be lasting much longer. Now, as we get into this afternoon, very beautiful, 53 degrees under mostly sunny skies with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, those rain showers will be moving our way with temperatures dropping down into lower to mid 40s with winds pretty light out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour and moving into tomorrow. Very beautiful once again, 63 degrees, and it's going to be a little bit... Uh, wet to start, but it's going to be drying out as we get into the afternoon hours, and it should turn out to be a pretty nice day. But we should be expecting some gusty winds, so make sure you're careful if you're planning on going anywhere tomorrow, as those winds could be affecting your driving abilities. Now looking at the next seven days, you can see it's going to be a little bit up and down here. Very nice day today. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit wet to start once again, but it should be drying out. Sunday for Veterans Day, once again, a very nice warm day out there. But then after that, things start going downhill with our next chance of precipitation coming with that big system on Monday as well as into Tuesday. We can even see a little bit of some snow on Tuesday. And as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, things look to dry out as well as warm up by the time we reach Thursday afternoon. So my name is meteorologist Heather Kay, and that is your forecast for Thursday, November 9th, 2012.